If your plasmid sequences lack some annotations or contain incomplete or obsolete versions of annotations, SeekBuilder Pro offers a way to automatically import features from its built-in features library. Within SeekBuilder Pro, start by using File, Open to either open an individual sequence or an entire SeekBuilder Pro project that contains multiple sequences, which I will do here. Next, select the sequences that you want to annotate and choose Features, Annotate Sequence. Use the Annotation Parameters dialog to adjust the minimum match percentage and minimum coverage percentage to declare a match. Or check the box to accept only perfect matches. Here, I'll accept the default settings and click OK. You can see that SeekBuilder Pro found 217 matching features, of which 108 are unique. By default, the non-unique features are unchecked in the table at the bottom of the window. The table shows all 217 matches, along with details for each one. Currently, the top feature in the list is selected, so the information shown in the upper section of the window is specific to that first feature. Unique matches are checked by default. I can accept all of them at once by clicking on Accept Checked. Alternatively, I can review some or all of the annotations first. Sort by any of the columns by clicking the column header. So for example, if I sort by query, I can see all proposed annotations for each sequence grouped together. If there's a match that I don't want to add, I can just click on its check mark and choose Ignore. I can also replace an existing feature with a more accurate version from SeekBuilder Pro's feature library by choosing Replace. Once I'm finished reviewing and all features I want to add are checked, I'll click on Accept Checked for SeekBuilder Pro to proceed with annotating my sequences with all the features that I've confirmed. I can now open up any of those sequences by double-clicking on them, and all of the new features have been added, as shown here in the circular view. I can also see a record of the annotations that were added by looking in the history panel below. I can edit feature information in any of several ways. To change the range of the feature, go to the Features view and click on the plus sign to open up the full feature description. I can change the range by clicking just to the right of the strand tool and typing in new endpoints. Similarly, I can edit information in any of the other fields by clicking on them and typing. To add a new node or other information to an existing feature, select the feature and choose Features New Note. When I click on the plus sign to open the Feature Information panel, I can see that a new note field has been added by default. This can be changed to another field type by clicking on the note text and making a selection from the list. Only a partial list of types appears unless you select all from the list. To change the style for a selected feature, use the Style panel on the right of the window. Settings in the top and middle of the panel can be used to change the look of the selected feature. 